Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Heya. I'm a nutrition science PhD and today I wanted to talk to you about coconut oil. We're seeing all over social media that people are using coconut oil in their hair, on their skin, even in their coffee. And it's being hailed as this superfood now. So is it actually healthy? Let's look at the science. Let's first look at some of the things that make coconut oil unique. I'm sure you've noticed that coconut oil is somewhat a solid when you compare it to the other plant oils in your kitchen. And the reason for that is, if you look at this chart, look how much saturated fat is in it. About 80 to 90% of the fats in coconut oil are saturated. Look at that in comparison to all the other oils in here. It's so much higher. That's what makes it more of a solid at room temperature. So why is a saturated fat point worth noting? Well, the American Heart Association and a lot of other organizations recommend that we watch how much saturated fat we eat. They recommend we limit it because of its effects on LDL cholesterol in comparison to unsaturated fats. These saturated fats have been shown to increase LDL, which can increase disease risk. And we're starting to learn that with saturated fat, it's not that simple. It's not as simple as just it being a saturated fat. It's more to do with the food that it's delivered in and how that food is actually processed. But regardless, if coconut oil really is healthy for the heart, it's such a major change from these guidelines that mainly tell us to limit saturated fat for heart health. The other thing that advocates of coconut oil say makes it very special is that it's a source of MCTs or medium chain triglycerides. They say that because of this, it has a lot of health benefits. So what exactly are MCTs and does coconut oil really have them? MCTs are basically triglycerides that are made up of fatty acids with a chain length of up to 10 carbons. So these are shorter chain. And these medium chain triglycerides are metabolized and absorbed differently to normal fats. So they're a lot simpler and quicker to metabolize. And because of this, they're claimed to promote weight loss and have health benefits. But the important thing to note here is coconut oil doesn't actually behave like its main components are medium chain fatty acids. Actually, only about 10% of the fatty acids in coconut oil are medium chain. So the reality is that coconut oil doesn't actually behave in the body like an MCT, and all the studies on these purified MCTs don't necessarily translate over to coconut oil. Now, the other reason that coconut oil advocates say that it's so healthy is because there are certain populations around the world who eat a lot of coconut products, sometimes up to 60% of their whole diet, and they tend to have better blood lipid profiles and heart health. But we need to be careful how we interpret this evidence because it's only observational and there could be so many things at play here. For example, they're eating the entire coconut. That means they're absorbing the fiber, all of the polyphenols. It's not just the coconut oil. So that could be completely different. The food structure is completely different. And the nutrients it provides is completely different. They could also have an entirely different dietary pattern. So a traditional diet with completely different foods where they interact with each other in a different way. They possibly don't eat as many ultra processed foods. So these can all have an impact. Also their overall lifestyle can have a significant impact on these findings. So these are all things we need to be aware of when we're drawing on observational evidence. So now let's look at recent evidence on coconut oil and markers of heart health. This is a systematic review and meta-analysis of clinical trials that studied the effects of coconut oil on cardiovascular risk factors. When we think about the quality or hierarchy of evidence, this is considered at the top. In a systematic way, this basically takes all of these actual intervention trials that feed people coconut oil and measure the effects and pulls them all together to give a more sort of robust statistical analysis. This study reported on the effects of eating coconut oil on markers of metabolic health and cardiovascular health in comparison to other oils. And what they found was coconut oil significantly raised LDL cholesterol compared to the other oils. They found that also it increased HDL cholesterol. But when they looked at blood sugar control and inflammation, they didn't find any significant difference. I wanna show you another recent systematic review meta-analysis that was done. This one also sought out to study the effects of coconut oil on cardiovascular health markers. What's interesting about this one is not only do they compare it to plant oil, but also to animal fat or butter. And they even then do a small sub-analysis where available on studies that looked at extra virgin coconut oil specifically, or virgin coconut oil, to see if that had a difference. So what did they find? When we look at compared to other plant oils, similar to the first study, it raised LDL and also it raised HDL. But in that smaller sub-analysis they did, where they looked at if it was extra virgin coconut oil, did that have a difference? 
it actually didn't have a significant effect on LDL. This could be because virgin or extra virgin varieties retain a lot more polyphenols and basically they act as antioxidants in the body. So these could be having some sort of health effect. So here processing could have something to do with it and it's been reported that virgin coconut oil could have as much as seven times higher concentrations of polyphenols than standard coconut oil. So we need to note that it's a smaller number of studies that have looked into this or have shown this but it's a really interesting area of research. Now, when coconut oil was compared to animal fat, it increased HDL and lowered LDL. So overall, it was more favorable than animal fat. So to conclude, coconut oil compared to plant oils tends to raise cardiovascular risk profile by raising LDL, but it also increases HDL. Though that smaller sub-analysis did show us that if the coconut oil was a virgin variety, it didn't have a difference on LDL, overall in general, it doesn't seem that coconut oil has a superior effect than plant oils. But when we compare coconut oil to animal fat, it does have more favorable health effects. Another thing to keep in mind is these studies are short-term and only look at the impacts on cholesterol levels. So these are cardiovascular disease risk factors but we don't actually know what the effects of coconut oil are on actual heart disease. But for now, it's best to use it sparingly. Of course, it has a unique flavor, and if you enjoy that, it's great to switch things up in the kitchen once in a while. Also, if you're making a specific recipe, global cuisines, it's great to also incorporate that. Also, if you're into baking, its properties, the fact that it's a solid, make it a unique substitute for butter as well. And if you choose to use it, you may opt for the extra virgin type. But overall, the evidence says we don't need to be swapping out our plant oils for coconut oil for better health. All right, my friends, that was it for today's video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that it was helpful, and I hope to see you in the next one.